Hello everybody, welcome to the channel and in this video I'm going to cover the importance of changing your energy provider. The reason being is that of course if you're on the right energy provider you pay as little money as possible and that puts more sweet sweet dollar bill slash pound notes into your pocket. But it often isn't as straightforward as I'd like it to be and probably you'd like it to be as well. We're often told how easy it is to change energy provider on the comparison sites but actually once you get on to your search engine or to Google you'll you put in energy provider and you're hit with about 20 different search and uh, comparison sites and a whole plethora of energy providers on there so currently there's about 60 energy providers in the UK so the big six are no longer the only ones to choose from um, so I think that comparison sites do a good job of bringing all that information together however it's often not quite clear how to compare what you've currently got with what's being offered and is it actually better. So I've got a technique that I use just to cut through that uh, and give you the confidence to be able to know whether what you, the current deal you're on is best or whether what's being offered is better. So let's jump straight into a screen share uh, and it's gonna take less than 10 minutes to show you how to do that and hopefully um, that'll give you the confidence to change or the confidence to stay with um, your energy provider. So let's jump in. Okay, so I'm starting on Google and just type in some keywords, energy provider, something like that will do. Choose any of these comparison sites, doesn't matter which one. Personally, I prefer U-Switch because it's quite quick to put the information in and it lays the information out quite nicely. So I'm gonna click on that. Once I go on there, it's gonna ask me for some details starting with postcode. It's pre-populated mine already because I've done this previously to recording. So add your details in. And once you do that, it'll take you through to the comparison page. Don't get hung up on the um, fact that it's asking you for a annual amount of um, electricity used cost or kilowatt hours. Just put in a nominal amount and then move on. It doesn't matter. I'll explain why. Um, reason being is that what we're going to do is compare the actual unit cost of electricity. So add your details, keep it as your postcode use a nominal figure. So I added 4,000 kilowatts of electricity used per year because that's an average sort of uh, amount used for a house similar size to mine, two bedroom. But again, it doesn't matter. So here we are with the comparison page. Bulbs come up out on, on top. So what I want to do is ignore most of this information just for now. I want to go on the plan information. And then from there, I'm going to be able to pull out a bit more. So what I want to do is come down here to unit rates and standing charges. That's the bit I'm interested in. So I'm going to click on that. And here's the key information that I've been looking for. So the unit rate of electricity and the standing charges is what I'm going to compare to my current supplier to get a fair comparison. So those numbers in mind, go onto my current provider. So I'm with PowerShop at the minute, log into my site, uh, log into my account, search for the current tariff that I'm on. And here are the details that I'm looking for. 16.6 .6 kilowatts um, of electricity per pence per kilowatt. And down here is my daily charge of 18 um, and a half P. So these are the numbers I want. This one here and that one there. Once I have that number, I'm going to then go to a blank sheet, add them to it, and then times that kilowatt our rate that I've just looked at by 4,000, which is a nominal rate to get an annual figure of what it would cost me if I used that amount of electricity. Done that with both of them. So my current one is 664 pounds per year and bulb would be 531. But I need to add to that the standing charge, which is less with my current provider. So I've times my standing charge by 365, come out at 68 pounds and standing charge times by 365 come out with a bit more but you'll notice that the number that's really significant is the unit cost because we're timesing that by 4,000 and only times in the day cost by 365 so add those two up and the comparison price is there so I would save 126 pounds per year if I moved to bulb pretty significant saving um, and I would be inclined to do that however some electricity providers or energy providers aren't on comparison sites so one example of this is Outfox the market. They don't go on comparison sites um, and they instead pass the cost on to customers. Um, so they have to pay to be on comparison sites and if they're not paying that cost, that means they can give electricity at a lower rate. So how do you find that rate? So all I do is jump on Outfox the market, 
sticking my details, postcode, uh, a rough amount of electricity used. Ignore this for now. Take the uh, current electricity rate, 13 and a half pence, and the standing charge down here, eight pence. And then add this to my blank sheet, do the same maths to it, times by 4,000 to get this figure here, 538, times the data charge by uh, eight, 0 0.822 to get 30 and then I can compare it to what I've already got. So you'll see that the actual unit cost is slightly more than bulb. However, their standing charge is significantly lower to the point where it actually makes a difference now because it's less than half. And that would save me 164 versus PowerShop. Uh, so it's 38 pounds better than bulb. So this sounds quite good. Even more of a saving, uh, 164 pounds extra uh, is even better than the bulb offer. Sounds good. However, I'm just going to do a little bit of due diligence uh, by going on Google. And I can see here that there is some pretty low reviews for Outfox the Market. So generally, when I look through these reviews there, due to the fact that they have raised their electricity price in the past, uh, which they say they do on their site, to be fair, it, as the unit costs go up, like any provider would, um, and the other fact is that they don't have much in the sense of call centers. They use a lot of web chat and email. That has upset a great many number of people, but personally, I only know one person who uses Outfox the market and he's pretty happy with them, consistently gets a pretty good price. So it's a bit of a toss up between the two, really, whether you use Bulb, which is um, renowned and gets good customer service reviews on the on the internet we do uh, look at the reviews versus outfox the market which gets pretty bad reviews on google but again um look elsewhere do your own work so there are your two options really the only thing to bear in mind if you're cost conscious uh which i am would be that you can save even more money by doing one of two things so i can either jump on top cashback so if you haven't got top cashback sign up um, for an account, I'll put a link below. And if I put in um, Usawitch in the search bar, it comes up with Usawitch on here, along with several other um, energy providers as well. So if I wanted to squeeze a bit more out of this, I could use this cash back. So I'd have to close my all, all my win my cash uh, my Usawitch windows and get cash back now so i could be eligible because i'm only doing a single fuel switch for an additional 13 pounds so that eats into that 38 pound difference so if i take off that difference um it's not quite as big again so i go down with that 20 20 28 27 20, 25 so only be 25 pound difference then um so that's one option to save money additionally um bulb offer 50 pounds to someone who recommends you um, so they get £50 and you get £50. So suddenly then, that actually makes Bulb more appealing again. That's a current offer they're doing uh, at the time of making this video. Uh, I mean, at the end of January 2020. So I'm not sure if that's a permanent offer, but it's been there for a little while. So personally, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, pick a friend who's on Bulb uh, and they get £50 and you get £50, which puts them back into the first place. And you get all the benefits of the good reviews. Uh, good customer services etc from doing that so that's what i'm going to do however if that if that offer disappeared then outfox the market would actually be the cheapest one if their unit rates stay the same um, using the cashback site minimizes that but again cashback isn't guaranteed it does take a long time to come through so i wouldn't count on this necessarily but it's worth knowing um, and yeah that is the way to compare energy providers directly that's it, we're done. Hopefully that was easy to follow and hopefully you found that useful. You can now go ahead, copy, replicate what I just did and see whether your current provider is giving you the best deal or whether there's a new potential provider who you can save some money by changing with. After the video finished uh, on the screen share, I jumped on the Bulb website just to have a look, see if they're still doing their friend referral, which they appear to be. So I encourage you to jump on your phones, go through your phone book and see if anyone who you know already is on uh, or is using Bulb ask them for that referral code and 50 pounds for you, 50 pounds for them. It's a no brainer, definitely do that. If you don't know anyone on Bulb and you still wanna get that 50 pounds, once I get changed over, I'll stick my link in the description as well, um, just so you can get that 50 pounds, but go through your phone book, 
uh, and make friends with someone who you've not spoke to for a while. After the screen share, I also noticed that Bulb are willing to pay early leave fees. So if your current provider is charging you a fee to leave before uh, the contract ends, 12 or 24 months, Bulb would pay that for you as well. So another reason to change to a cheaper provider. But I think in summary, whatever energy provider comes out top of your comparisons, whether that's Bulb that I found or any other energy provider, I would definitely encourage you to do two things. One is double check if they're doing a referral scheme, whether you can get a discount doing that way, which is mutually beneficial to someone you know who's already with that provider. Uh, and secondly, go on a cashback site and see if that energy provider is on that site already directly. And if not, worst case scenario, which is still a pretty good scenario, go on um, top cashback like I did, stick in you switch or whatever comparison site you're using and collect that bit of cashback there as well uh, to make sure you're getting every bit of value from that. That's everything I've got. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Please do like, please share with anyone who might benefit from this who's confused about changing energy provider. Um, subscribe and I'll do some more videos that are helpful. Uh, in the comments, please stick in any questions you've got and I'll answer them, any queries. And if you think that there's a better way of doing it, please do comment as well. I'd love to hear if there's other ways of doing that. And finally, if you've got any particular video that you wanna see uh, me do, stick it in the comments uh, and I'll have a go and see if I could uh, explain through another video. So that's it. We're done. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, see you soon. Sayonara.